Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com. Today we're going to take a look at making some glowing text in Adobe Flash CS4, so let's get started. I'm going to open up a file, a new file, ActionScript 3.0. And I'm going to pick the color of the text, and I'm going to go ahead and click on my text button. Next, I'm going to pick whatever font that I want. And in this case, I'm looking for impact, and where is it? There it is. You can use any font that you want. I'm going to pick a nice font size. Mine's on 51. I'm going to go ahead and type out glowing text here in the middle. Then I'm going to select it by hitting the black arrow, and I'll go up to modify and I'm going to transform it. So I'm going to change the scale of it. If you just grab a corner and pull it out, it will make it proportionally larger. I'm going to move it to the center of our stage so we can see what's going on. Then I'm going to go down here in the timeline. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to pull it behind layer one. Remember layer one is the layer that has our text. I'm going to name the new layer background and I'm going to name the layer with our text glowing text. Won't be any confusion there. Now I'm going to extend this animation about 20 frames, um, but before I do that I need to put a background color. So to have some contrast I'm going to use the rectangular tool and I'm going to go ahead and pull out a nice black background on the background layer of course. Four. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go back down here in my timeline, make sure I'm on the glowing text layer and select the text itself. You can do that as well by hitting the black arrow. Now I'm going to go down here under Filters, which is under your Properties, and I'm going to click on that little box in a box, and I'm going to select Glow. This is going to be the Glow filter, and I'm going to select a high quality, and I'm going to change the color to a light yellow so we can clearly see it. I'm going to change the Blur X value to 25 pixels. Let me pull up here and show you what that will look like. That's what your image looks like with uh, the blur on 25 pixels. Now I'll go back down at our timeline and I'm going to insert some new keyframes on frame 10, which is going to be right in the middle of our animation. So I'll right click and insert a keyframe. You can also shortcut this by hitting an F6 button in the frames that you want that keyframe to be in. And we're going to go back and select our text again and then change the blur value this time to, let's say 100. And 100 is maybe a little bit too diffused. So I'm going to change that to 80 this time and that's a little bit better. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to frame 20, which is going to be the end of our animation, and I'll go ahead and select both of those and go ahead and insert our keyframes. And then I'll go back to the text again and I'm going to change the values down to the pixel value that's right before 25, which would be 26, and that's our result. Now all we have to do is drop some tweens in between those two things. So I'll right click and I'm going to create a classic tween and, and place in both of those, in between both of those uh, keyframes. And this is the result that you get when you export it. You get a glowing text. There you go. This has been another video tutorial brought to you by thevirtualinstructor.com.